Well, boys and girls, this is the closest I've been to being sacked in about 13 seasons, I would say. Fingers crossed we don't. It would certainly take the edge off the whole winning the league two years in a row, getting into the Champions League, moving into the new stadium thing. We're this close to greatness. I just hope the board have a long-term vision, show a little bit of ambition and don't replace me just before I deliver everything they've ever wanted. In winning the Champions League, I don't think it was on their agenda. In fact, Keir Strap is now 28 years old. Remember him, everybody? He's not quite had the career I expected him to have. He has made it to the Premiership now, though. He's still only 28. We could still get Strap on. I mean, that's months ago. Absolutely months ago that he was playing for us. That shows how long this save's been running. That's 12 seasons ago he was playing for us. It's ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. You'll be excited to know, boys and girls, I don't think I've retorn my bumhole. Bum hole. Upon closer inspection, there appears to be a hemorrhoid in there. So it's not another butthole tear. We're fine. Don't worry. I'm not a massive fan of mainstream media in general. So I'm trying to avoid the majority of it. Channel 5 were just very, very persistent. So I went along with it. Who the hell was this guy? Oh, I remember. We bought him because he's Scottish. Yeah, I'm not desperate to do loads of mainstream media, to be honest. Do we know next week's schedule yet? Channel 5 isn't mainstream media no one watches. Yeah, I did say to Anna, I probably get more viewers than they do. So it's it feels a little bit like I'm doing them a favour. <laughs> um, next week's stream schedule. So I guess I imagine. Oh, are we doing a, are we doing a football goal? Little Kev's gonna do a goal. Don't include the in the video though Topher make sure you edit that out um, I come across this guy who stands in his kitchen and does a, ra a local radio breakfast show style thing where he just wears a Hawaiian shirt stands in his kitchen plays 80s music and occasionally drops in the odd link where he pretends he's a DJ I feel like him I'm channeling him this is what he does he just stands there with his headphones on dancing for four minutes to whatever song he's playing and then it's it's so confusing. And then he'll just pretend he's on the radio. I don't, he might actually be doing a radio show, but he looks like he's in his kitchen. Every now and again, the song will stop. He'll do some kind of cheesy local radio link, put another song on, and then just be back there doing this again for another four minutes. I know you mean he thinks he's Steve Wright. He absolutely thinks he's Steve. He looks a bit like Steve Wright, actually. But he's my new hero. Right, who are we playing? Galatasaray. Back to Turkey. I've not been to Turkey for ages. Love it in Turkey. What did I do to upset Sterling fans? Had the audacity to suggest he's not currently in England's top six players. Um, he's the most successful English player of his generation. <laughs> Is he currently in the top six England players? He's the most successful English player of his generation. <laughs> oh, I mean, I haven't run the numbers. I imagine John Stones has won roughly, the, and maybe even more than Sterling has. That's like saying uh, Jesus should be starting for Arsenal ahead of Havertz because he's won more trophies. Just because he happened to be a Manchester City squad player for a long time. Doesn't make him top six England player now. Come on, Gregory, run. Run, you're a very fast boy. Look at him, he can get tackled and still get there first. Go, Gregory, go. He just gets his head down and runs. I love him. He's got nothing else about him other than just he runs and runs and runs in whatever direction he's facing. And it's so beautifully effective. He reminds me of... Um, the network game Keverton team when I had Adama Traore, Traore and on paper shouldn't have been any good 
but was so effective to bring on for 20 minutes and just do that. Just point him in the right direction and let him run. What are the players upset about? Have I forgotten something? Oh, God, the Canuto situation, of course. I've got player mutinies in both saves at the moment. I can't keep track. I'm thinking, what's Tom Best done now? Is he my, is he my greatest piece of transfer business ever? Just plucked from obscurity. What a weird transfer that is. He's my Martinelli. I don't think the board are getting grumpy yet. No, the board are still, the board are comfortable. They know it's uh, the season is one full season long. Bum, bum, football. That is our left back, by the way. What on earth is he doing there? I love, I love that he's playing as a second attacking midfielder. That's our right back. Plays it to our defensive midfielder, and there's our left back. Absolutely beautiful. He's the perfect left back for playing as an inverted wing back. Because that's him as an attacking midfielder. I very much enjoy Stranach. I think he's my favourite player. Uh, certainly of this save, potentially of the whole of FM24 at this point. Assuming he carries on getting better. I just love him. What's the job of an inverted fullback? Stranax in again. Uh, to tuck in as another centre-back when we're attacking. So Stranax, the inverted wing-back, so his job is to go forward, cutting in, and play as an extra midfielder. And Ibrahimovic tucks in to be an extra centre-back, so we effectively have a back three, and Stranak goes wandering off up the other end of the pitch, getting into those kind of positions, but he's supposed to be our left-back, which leaves him entirely unmarked he is my hero there he is again in an attacking position and there's another football goal that's a center back now everyone's rotating we're doing total football look at that position stranach was in again and then he's back to cover what a player look at where he's standing right we're just gonna we're gonna click on him we're just gonna watch his positioning that's our left back. Look at him. Look at where he is. <laughs> it excites me way more than it should. Come on, everybody. Let's have a little dance. That's not ideal. Hearts are back then. Hearts are weird. They nearly won the league two years ago. Nearly got relegated last year. And now this year, they're top of the league after eight games. What a strange team Hearts are. They can't make up their mind if they're good or bad, but they always have an interesting season. Best value for money season ticket in Scottish football at Hearts. So if we sell Valdez, will that make Canuto happy? Because his promise is about reducing the number of unhappy players. But the thing he's unhappy about is being left out of the Champions League squad. So if I register him for the Champions League squad in January, does that make him happy? Or do I have to get rid of one of the other unhappy players? I guess, can I register any of those three and Canuto will be happy? Or does it have to be Canuto who gets registered? This is what we need to know. And you ask your captain to talk to them. I mean, that's what got me into this mess in the first place. Getting involved unnecessarily. Who the hell is the captain? Brandon! Howdy. Um, can't think of anything that can improve the atmosphere. Talking to those clowns, Brendan. No, who's the answer to that question? Let's just discuss allows me to. No, a leader would sort that out. Who's my vice captain then? Are you a leader? He's a leader. Come on, then. Dressing room atmosphere. He can't think of anything either. Scottish 18-year-old centre-back in the national team. I don't know. Yeah. How do I get back to Scotland? This must be the route. Age. Two more. Is he, though? Get ready for this one, boys and girls. 
Make sure you're sitting down. This could cause an accident. If you're driving a car, pull over. Cue more. That's a funny name. Oh, come on! Friday night, everybody! Just spat out my gin and tonic. I warned you! The problem is, if I sign him and do that bit every stream for the next month, Toph is just going to keep editing it out. And then he'll do his cruciate ligaments, and I'll go, well, that wasn't funny, was it? The punchline that I've been setting up for weeks, and it will mean nothing to the YouTube viewers because they won't have had all of the setup all the way through. We are going to sign him, though, if he's any good. We're scouting him at the moment. I'm not paying 11 million if he doesn't get in our team, no matter how 18-year-old he is. We remember Adam fell more because the gag was left out than the original joke. <laughs> uh, you remember him. To YouTube, he's meaningless. They're like, what's an Adam fell? Oh, scouting. Here he is. Okay, that's probably that's probably fine. Can we have him, please? 11 and a half million. You drive a hard bargain, but anything for the gag. I play competitive matches for another club before July. As long as he would still join us in January, that I don't think matters. Yeah, transfer would go through in January. That he wouldn't be able to play for us until the summer, which again is probably not a big deal. We just need him to be here and for that clock to start ticking before he turns nineteen. It won't start the it won't start the clock ticking because he won't be able to be registered. Even though we don't have to register them domestically. He's not homegrown in nation, but he will be if he joins us before he turns 19. He'll be homegrown in nation and homegrown at club. Look at Ramos go. My goodness me. We've got a winger on our hands there. Oh, you never told me anything about him. I remember now. This isn't good. Come on, Walter. Do your thing. Walter. Supposed to be the best goalkeeper in the league. Going to score here. Yeah? All right, football, come on then. Oh, God. Big clubs and Manchester United are after Walter. The end is near. New contract. He's not going to sign a new contract while he's unhappy. Right, Hugh Moore's coming in. That is a funny name. Been in for the first time since the Mass Shadow on Trials days. What's happened? I mean, 15 years and a lot of other stuff. I've got no playmaker on the pitch currently. That might be a problem. Let's do some playmaking. Oh, there you go. See? I'm a tactical genius. That's how you play football manager, boys and girls. I made that happen. What's happened here? I don't know who's been naughty there. What's he done? He passed the ball and he's got sent off for it. I don't understand what happened there. But I don't care enough to go back and check. So I'll just make a substitution instead. Do I look Danish to you? I do look a bit Danish, I think. All the Lego around me makes me appear Danish. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. I had to be offside. Are the board annoyed with me yet? No, we're still doing okay. We do need to cut this out, though. Goodness me. Right, let's go beat Aberdeen. I mean, my dad's Spanish, so, yeah, I guess. There's obviously a bit of Spanish in me. There is a bit of French in me as well. I'm, I'm a man of many flavours. I should do one of those DNA tests. Find out, find out how much my great-great-great-grandmother got around. I've been in Athens this week to confirm that feta is very good. Feta just takes like little cubes of soap. Can't stand feta. Every word was going to be a swear word. <laughs> and that was going to be my escape hatch. So I had a, I thought about it. I had a plan. And then I thought, actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't do it. In the, I just probably shouldn't. I won't go on. <laughs> so that's what we're currently doing. This is not ideal, though. We need to get Canuto gone. He's causing all the problems. Right, come on. We kind of have to score here. Brendan! 
Ben! Put your flag down, you Wally! Come on, ref. Come on, ref. It's not just Canuto. It 100% is just Canuto. Because Canuto's the one who's the ringleader. I think you're seriously underestimating Morale Manager 2024. It is the only problem we've got is Canuto. I promise you that is all that it is. This is the problem. He cheers up. We are fine. Having spent however many hundreds of hours playing FM24, I assure you that is the one and only issue. Stupid game. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the midfield is a slight downgrade on last year. Hearn is better than Pfeiffer, but Pfeiffer will become better than Hearn. So that's why you make that decision. Hearn's 27. He's never going to be good enough to win the Champions League. Pfeiffer's, what, 19? And in two years, will be good enough to win the Champions League. So you have, we deliberately did a slight downgrade now in a number of positions to be much better in two or three years' time. Trust the process, boys and girls. Yeah, but the key there is you keep at least two or three of them. We've been through this with Apollon a few years ago. This isn't the 11 that win the Champions League, but three or four of them will be. The rest will be sold on at a profit and be, will, they'll be replaced with even better ones because every year that goes on, our reputation goes up a little bit higher so the quality that we can bring in goes up and eventually we'll just naturally hit that sweet spot where some of them have been here long enough and that year's... That year's intake includes Svenda Silva, and that's the year we win the Champions League. Can we do a goal, please? I would really like to do a goal, please. Right, here we go. Football. Navarro is a very frustrating player. I need Diaz back fit. I need Gomez back fit. This is disastrous. If we lose to this lot, we do have a problem. Oh... I might just stick Canuto in the under nines. Well, well, well. Not good enough. Who do we play next? Hurts. We haven't won in months. I remember those fitness friendlies did us a world of good, didn't they? That was a clip and climb. For the second time, they've been going all season. There's just nothing we can do to fix this problem in October. That's the really annoying thing. There's no way to cheer any of them up without registering them for the Champions League. There's no way to sell them to get them out of the way. There's no way to talk to them and tell them to please chill out. We just have to accept that they're in a mood and causing problems for four months and wrecking the club atmosphere. It's such a stupid, broken piece of nonsense. They won't sign new contracts because they're unhappy. See, I don't know if anyone's got an open transfer window and can loan him. Right, we're just going to take the risk. I don't think it can get any worse. Let's just bin him out of the first team squad. Go. Okay. Right, at least I can now have a conversation with him. I'll look to move you on as soon as possible. Right, has that... Ah. Uh. It hasn't immediately improved that. He's handed in a transfer request. That's fine. Oh, we've already had a bid as well. How much should we pay for him? We're going to make a massive profit on him. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, he is very good. And it is a shame that it has to end like this. But I didn't actually look at that team. Right, a, a Brendan Longish throw. That's what we need. Penalty kick. It's a classic East Fife goal. Brendan's long throw. Foul on the player who receives it. Penalty kick. Beautiful. We've got no Brown to take it, though, which is not ideal. I couldn't play this on my breakfast show, though. We'd have to, we'd have to censor it. Right here we go. Ah! Thought there's a radio edit.
Nah. I'd censure it myself. With goat screams. It'd be fine. What is Walter for these days? He just seems to have given up. He was great last year. He just does not seem bothered anymore. I don't remember the last time he made a save. Get King George, King, King George back in. It just makes me not want to play the game. It's so frustrating because it's so stupid and overpowered and unnecessary and completely unrealistic. It makes me hate it. Ah! I'd be fine if I was doing anything wrong. Right, that's got him gone. It's a shame because he's a genuine Brazilian wonder kid that we're having to sell. Because he's an idiot. Has he actually gone or does he leave? Oh, he doesn't leave until January. Right, but our club atmosphere has gone back up to very good. So hopefully... Hopefully, now we've got very good club atmosphere, we'll, uh, we'll be fine and we'll beat Rangers 3-0 and we'll be rolling. Yeah, as a minimum, I want my the new Batmobile. Kevin off of Up is available. I want him. There you go. See, we're going to thrash him. Obviously, you know why, but my budget for Lego and fun things is like £50 a month. So Kev having not a big spending day like five times, that scares me. Remember, it's not me buying any of it. It's the company. It's for content. You know, overpaying on tax is still a criminal offence. I don't overpay on tax. I pay exactly the right amount of tax. Food halls for your weekly shop. I mean, there's a reason there's so many food halls on TikTok. Wouldn't take holidays a business expense, but those excursions would definitely qualify. The whole of the Lanzarote trip was a business expense. We made content every day. This is absurd at this point, boys and girls. I feel like we've exposed Football Manager once again over the last 10 minutes. so frustrating this is worse than losing at this point i've just arbitrarily sold a fringe player who shouldn't have had that much in uh, influence on the squad and we've won five nil what's happening oh everyone's getting injured goodness me we've got to go to lazio with that teenager in goal that's not ideal i think we probably play an injured walter don't we rather than this guy King George isn't in the squad. She did refer to you as our friend, though, which I thought was a little excessive. A little familiar for my taste. Um, but she did mention that you liked it because I dropped my lemon wipe in my muscle juice and had to get another one. Initially, the waitress bought us a lemon rather than a lemon wipe. And then when she eventually did bring me a clean, unjuiced lemon wipe, she mentioned that our friend likes to suck them. I assume she was referring to you. The problem with Navarro is he's not a striker, but we're having to play him there because Diaz is injured and Gomez is injured. We brought Navarro to play as the attacking midfielder. Right, now let's go beat Celtic. It'll be fine. He accepts that I'm no longer obliged to fulfil. There we go. I tell you what, this is the way to deal with these Champions League boys. Although we did try it with Canuto and he was like, the audacity of you asking me to improve in training. So it doesn't always work out, but with those two, we fix the problem. Right, if we beat Celtic, we'll only be, what, eight points behind them? We have gifted the title to them this year with this poor start. It's going to be a tall order for us to get back into it, although we do play them three more times, including this one. So if we win every match for the rest of the season, we've got a game in hand as well. We are still in control of our own destiny. Win every game and we win the league, I think. Come on, gentlemen, we need a football goal. We're 11 points behind Celtic at the moment. That is not okay. We've won the league the last two years. We're not letting them back having control of the league. Football goal. Football goal. Football goal. 
I mean, I was very clear what I wanted from that move. Right, come on, this is the move. This is the move. He was offside there, surely. Doesn't matter. We're going to do a football. Shoot, little Kev. Shoot. Shoot, little Kev. Little Kev. You're taking it too wide. Don't shoot now, you idiot. Oh, little Kev with the back heel. Oh, what a goal. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That was incredible from little Kev. Look at this. Doink. What a goal. This is the first time we've played Celtic at the new ground. Little Kev is everywhere. Give little Kev the captain's armband now. Let's have a third. Oh, Gregory, he's pointed in the right direction. You know what that means? Come on. Oh, it's easy in the end. It was never in doubt. Wallop, 87, 90 and 93. <laughs> Imagine going early to get the bus. Beautiful. I hurt my ankle celebrating. I clanked, I clapped, I banged my ankle into the uh, into the treadmill. <laughs> oh, right on my ankle bone. Just absolutely smashed into my treadmill. Oh, that really hurt. Come on, let's do a football goal. We're only 10 points behind Celtic now. With a worse goal difference, but we do have a game in hand. Ba 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 ba. Oof! Little Kev's been clattered there. Oh, that's not a good sign. Go attacking, demand. I'm berating. We need a proper striker in the team. We need Gomez and or Diaz to get back and start scoring. Oh, that's a lovely goal. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. Oh, come on, Brendan. Whip it back in. Probably better than trying to whip it in yourself. Oh, man over. Oh, come on then. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we're red hot. Oh, Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic deals with that comfortably. It's easy for him. That's a penalty kick. And it's going to be little Kev to take the penalty against the club we stole him from as a 17-year-old. After his shenanigans against Celtic, if he scores this penalty against his original club and then kisses the badge, we make him captain here and now. Come on! I don't think he should have too much love for that club. But it will forever be the only place that he's homegrown. He barely played for him. Who have we still got to play? Ashiktas, Bayern and Benfica. We are getting knocked out of the Champions League. A win here. Go down very nicely. We've got a game in hand over Celtic again. So ideally they drop points while we win. And we end the stream like five points behind them with a game in hand and still having to play them twice. And then we know next week we're going to win three in a row. And everyone's going to be delighted. Look at Stranak. That's our left back. Oh, I love him. I love that man so much. Can't jump around. I've hurt my ankle. Oh, little Kev's injured as well. He's hurt his ankle. Oh, little Kev's got sympathy pains. I also have a br little Kev and big Kev. Both with the same injury. We should both get replaced. I am making him stay until half time. But at the end of the day, you lot made me stay till the end of the stream. So I think that's fair. We're up to second again. Hey! Champions League spots with a game in hand. Twas never in doubt. If we ever have a Canuto situation again, just bin them off straight away. Don't try and fix it. We've got 50 young Brazilians here. Losing any one of them individually makes no difference to the, the grand scheme of things. They're replaceable. We'll sign five more before the end of the season. There we go, boys and girls. We end the stream in second place. Only six points behind Celtic. They dropped points. I completely missed what's happened there. Celtic only drawing with Dundee United. So we're now only six points behind them with a game in hand. And we've still got to play them twice more. We've got this all wrapped up.
bring on the button in the next stream, I say. Job done. We're winning the league. 